morning. Welcome to Canix TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, December 14th, 2015. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to Canix TV. A very late season typhoon is slamming the Philippines as we speak. Typhoon Melor, M-E-L-O-R, is uh, slamming into the eastern Philippines. As of right now, it's bringing uh, coastal floods of up to 13 feet in height. 725,000 people have been evacuated. The storm is known locally as Typhoon Nona. Uh, the government's weather bureau said that the storm is packing winds of 95 miles per hour with gusts of up to 115 miles per hour, and it's bringing locally heavy rainfall, in some cases about 20 inches of it. Shareholders of financial services provider Towers Watson and insurance broker Willis uh, surprised the uh, reinsurance world late Friday when they actually voted to merge. This was despite uh, negative reaction from institutional shareholder advisory firms such as Glass Lewis and ISS. Uh, the uh, vote apparently was not even close. The support by Tower shareholders come after an $18 billion merger agreement between the two companies was amended uh, after initial negative reaction to increase the one-time cash dividend to be paid to Tower stockholders up to $10 per share from $4.87. A key goal of the merger is to have Willis, which is the world's third largest reinsurance and insurance broker, combined with Towers Watson to uh, add consulting operations and help take on Aon and Guy Carpenter. Well, the news came on uh, Sunday, actually it was very early Sunday morning, that 195 countries in Paris had signed a uh, climate change treaty. It was rather remarkable, actually. Um, according to the head of the World Bank, uh, Kim Young Kim, Jim Kong, Jim Young Kim, who's been closely engaged in the talks, it was a wonderful surprise that after the disappointment of the Copenhagen talks four years ago, these 195 countries could come to an agreement more ambitious than anyone imagined. This never happens. The scope of the agreement is such that by the year 2050, it's hoped to reduce global uh, temperatures by two degrees. There'll be much, much more on this over the coming weeks and months. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has further dropped its stake in Munich Re as Buffett reevaluates the attractiveness of the reinsurance market. The holding was trimmed to 4.6% from 9.7%. Buffett's firm once owned as much as 12% of Munich Re. According to Buffett, back in May during the annual Berkshire uh, Capitalism Confab in Omaha, the reinsurance business is not as good as it was. It's a business whose prospects have turned for the worse and there's not much we can do about it. Well, there's something he can do about it. He can begin to reduce his stakes, and he's doing that quite profitably, I might add. Gua Guangcheng, one of China's best-known entrepreneurs who models himself after Warren Buffett, is uh, also uh, the chairman of the investment conglomerate Foshan International, about 50% of uh, which is uh, whose stake is involved in insurance and reinsurance. He uh, has reemerged. He disappeared several days ago. Apparently, he's helping police with an investigation that mostly concerns his personal affairs. According to the uh, company president of Foshan, quote, we trust Chairman Guo is a wise man and will actively cooperate and fulfill his duties to assist the investigation as soon as possible. It's mostly about his personal affairs. The chief executive said that Guo was helping police in Shanghai and that he was currently assisting with an investigation is not the subject of it. Didn't give any further details about the probe. Earlier this morning, 41 Argentinian policemen were killed in a bus accident in the northern part of Argentina. Authorities say the crash occurred while a convoy of three buses carrying gendarmes was traveling near the city of Salta, about 932 miles north of Buenos Aires. And the Egyptian Air Safety Agency is saying thus far they have found no evidence of terrorism in October's deadly crash of a Russian passenger jet in the Sinai Peninsula. This offers a sharply contrasting view from that of the Moscow officials. Russian security officials say they believe a bomb brought down Metrojet Flight 9268 and that ISIS has uh, claimed it planted an explosive device in a soda can on the plane. Egypt's civil aviation ministry said this morning that they have found, quote, nothing so far that indicates illegitimate interference or an act of terrorism. 
From the beginning, Egyptian officials have steadfastly played down terrorism links to the October 31st crash. Keep in mind that Sharm el-Sheikh, where the plane originated from, is a huge Euro um, European tourist destination for Egypt. Also keep in mind that in 1999, the uh, crash of Egypt Air uh, Flight 990 on a flight from uh, JFK Airport in New York to Cairo, which uh, the National Transportation Safety Board determined was suicide by pilot, was determined by the Egyptians as an equipment malfunction. So it's not quite uh, certain whether or not uh, this is a valid interpretation of the events. Either way, we'll find out. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.